Hey, what's up, YouTube? Big Greg here again. Tonight, I got some meat, ground beef. Just put it in the bag. Here's the package. Prove it. So, what are we doing tonight with ground meat in a bag? Well, doing my take on uh, meatloaf. What I have here is uh, oatmeal, some garlic powder. Some Italian seasoning. That's it. Oh, and a little bit of salt. Salt, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and some oatmeal. And I'm going to take that, put it in the bag, mix the two up. Basic oatmeal. I mean, uh, basic uh, meatloaf recipe. Now, I didn't measure, and I probably should have had a little bit more oatmeal. If you get a blender, it works better if you blend the oatmeal up, but I didn't because most of you don't have a blender in the truck, so that's how I'm rolling this week. And then what I'm doing is I'm just incorporating it, massaging it, kneading it, and getting that all mixed up. Now while I'm doing this, let me discuss what I do. When I do this at home, I make meatloaf balls. And um, I'll take it out, kind of like you would start to make an hamburger patty. And I just basically make meatloaf ball. Mix up the meatloaf, mix, stuff, whatever, all the ingredients. And then I just make a ball. And then I indent the ball on the top of my spoon. And um, when I do that, I put a little ketchup on top before I, I bake it. And uh, if you make the balls... Uh, a little under a quarter pound a ball, about the size of a hamburger patty, you know, you would start off with a hamburger patty. Um, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Uh, so it's a quick way to do meatloaf, it doesn't take long. And uh, now we're getting there, we're almost there. I'll open the top, it'll go faster. So, and you can see, I'm not using any gloves tonight. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of the easiest way that I can do this to uh, get a decent video and give you something a little bit different. Okay, you know, we're tired of eating the same crap. So, uh, meatloaf. Now, what you can do from here is you can either put this in the burnt oven, make it into an actual loaf, and uh, it smells really good. Let's see if I can kick some light on it here. Whoops. Not that it show up very well. Anyways, it's all incorporated. It smells really good. So anyways, you can either kick this into a Burton oven and uh, set it and forget it for a couple hours and come back to it. Or uh, you can do what I'm doing tonight. I am going to make some hamburger patties out of it and cook it up kind of like a hamburger. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this in the truck. Honestly, I've never done this at home, but hey, it's my own little concoction recipe that uh, I just started doing, and uh, my wife liked it, and she hates meatloaf, so I figure if she likes it, and she hates meatloaf, then you know, maybe it's worth a try. Alright, I feel good with that. Now, let me bring you over here. Boom. I gotta get my stove going. <clears throat> So there's fuel in here. Most of that fuel was actually uh, in there from the last time I used the stove. So we'll get that bad boy going. My frying pan. Whoops. Put my little uh, little things in there. It's supposed to be on the outside. There we go. The frying pan sits in there like that. And from there kind of unorganized tonight. Oop. I don't want that one. That little butter dish that I just had. This one down here. It's got potatoes in it. Last night I took some uh, cut up potatoes, carrots, uh, onions, and a little bit of salt, and I put them into, uh, into a pouch. And the lighting's horrible here. Let me see if I can 
fix the lighting up. There we go. That's a little better. Um, so what I did was I took some potatoes and uh, I cut them up. And I really need a, I really need like a, I don't know, some sort of head headset. That's what I need. I need a headset camera or something. Better way of doing things. But I'm making it work for you. Yeah, I'll move this over here. It's a pretty safe stove. There we go. Now you can see what's going on. So anyways, so I took uh, some potatoes, some carrots. That's a little too much butter. I'm getting a little excited here. And uh, I put them into, uh, I made a little tinfoil pouch. Just folded tinfoil over, made a little pocket out of the tinfoil. And uh, I cooked that on the gas grill last night. get that going. And now, I'm going to have to get the patties going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the container that my oatmeal and stuff came in. I'm going to put some of the meat in there so I don't have it all in the bag. Because I'm trying to do this without getting my hands dirty. If I happen to get my hands dirty, I got some of the meat left over, and I've got the rest of it right here. So, if I happen to get my hands dirty, it's no big deal. No matter how rusty, I can just go and wash my hands. I also got water, so I can just technically just get out of the truck for a second, walk around the passenger side, wash my hands. So, I kind of want these to look like a hamburger patty. Well, that's about right. And here goes nothing. There's one. Now let's do up the second one. Now typically, the way it was always made in my house when I was growing up was uh, meatloaf was topped with ketchup. Just plain every old day ketchup. And, uh, it was put on uh, on the meatloaf before it was put into the oven. So when it got done, you kind of had like a, uh, a ketchup pudding, I guess you will, on top of it. This meat's being stubborn. There we go. Get it in the back in the bag. So what I've done is, you know, just plain ketchup on meatloaf. That, that's okay. And it works, and it's fine and dandy, and it tastes good and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit. Actually, put this back over here towards the middle of the truck where it's out of the way. Alright, so here's the second patty. Now I could either save the second patty cook it up later. Or I could cook it up now. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second patty that I made. I'm going to save that for later on in the week. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have enough with just that one. So, that's the Ziploc bag. The rest of it's back in there. And uh, that's my leftover patty. Already made into a patty. Ready to rock and roll. So now we just uh, cook up this hamburger patty, and uh, then I get this. Ooh, what is it? Everybody's asking. Hey, what's in there? What's in there? It's ketchup. <laughs> but did I do anything to it, or is it just ketchup? Now yeah, it looks a little darker. Probably doesn't look all that great on video. So, what I did was, I spiced up the ketchup. And, uh, what are we approaching on here? Nine minutes? That's cool. Um, I took my ketchup and I spiced it up. I spiced it up with, uh, brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar and ketchup. 
a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of ginger, ground ginger, and just a touch of ground garlic. That's what I put in there. Now, got kind of a thing going on here. You can probably see it. It's getting a little smoky. But, that's not a big deal. Because, we can cut the flame back a little. Kind of what I gotta do. As soon as I find my handle. Boom. Live cooking, folks. Doesn't get no realer than this. Now I just put on the uh, simmer ring. So that'll cut the heat back a little bit. And uh, we can cook this up the rest of the way a little bit slower. So what I'm gonna do anyways when I get done with the hamburg patty is I'm going to uh, put some ketchup on top of it. Normally I would do this in the oven. If I was gonna do this in the Burton oven, I would put the ketchup on top of it, set the lid and forget it. So I would put the loaf raw hamburg mixture with the oatmeal and the uh, the Italian seasoning, the garlic, the salt, pepper. I put all that together, mix it all up, knead it, put it in the pan. And then I would uh, I drop that in the burton and then I put this ketchup mixture. And if you haven't tried it, try it. You can make it as small or as big as you want, so you don't need a lot of ketchup. You could try this at home. You could try this in your truck, really. Um, I just put a spoonful of brown sugar. Uh, if I squirted ketchup in here, I don't know how big this container is. I squirted ketchup in here. You, you can see how full it is. There we go. Now you can see how full it is. So I squirted ketchup in here, and then I just put brown sugar on there to cover it. And uh, then I used uh, one packet of soy sauce from a, a Chinese food restaurant. And um, I just sprinkled a little bit of ginger in there, and then I mixed it up and I tasted it, and it tasted good to my liking. And I added just a, uh, a pinch of garlic powder, mixed it up again, tried it again, really good. That's what I put on my meatloaf, spiced up ketchup. Nothing like it. Can't get any better than that. So let's check on the patty here, see how, how my beef patty is doing. Well, it's, it's getting there, she's cooking. I ain't going to bore you with the rest of this. We'll come back in a little bit. When it's all done ready to rock and roll. All right, we're getting there. We're almost done now. Just uh, cooking up some of these potatoes that I cooked up. Giving them a nice little golden brown coating. I just uh, put a few drops of water in the pan, same pan I cooked the uh, meatloaf in. And uh, I don't know how well that's going to look. There we go. Food does not photograph well. So I don't know how well this is going to turn out looking. But you can see the uh, ketchup's a little bit spiced up. You can see the, uh, the stuff I added to it. And uh, so that's dinner tonight. Meatloaf. Some potatoes. Potatoes were left over, but you can do what you want. There you go. That's what I'm eating tonight. And uh, I got enough ketchup left over um, for that other meatloaf patty that I made. So uh, there's a quick and easy meatloaf that you can do in the truck. I don't know. It took me all of, well, you saw, what, 12 minutes of it. And I'll let it cook for another, oh, probably uh, six minutes. And, uh... Now we'll, uh, whoops, I didn't quite get it out. There we go. That's how you put the tranchia out right there. And you let it sit for a couple minutes. It'll cool down, and then you can, uh, you can put the lid on. Whatever fuel's left over, I'm just going to leave in the stove. Do, do, do. Be all ready. And uh, I'll clean up the, uh, the pan. I got some uh, dish soap and whatnot, but yeah, there we go. Meatloaf and potatoes done in a truck in between the seats at the service plaza
Hope you enjoyed the video. Got another one coming for you later. Thank you for watching. And please, subscribe. Somewhere down here is a button. I don't know exactly where it is. Somewhere down here is a button. Subscribe if you like my video. I got new stuff coming. Um, trying to come up with some uh, some ideas. Um, I was going to show you one, but nah. You can just watch the next video that I make. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, meatloaf in a shock. Um, I told you two different ways to do it, so we'll go over that real quick. Make a uh, patty. If you like it well done, go thicker. I mean uh, thinner. Make the patty thinner. It'll cook, cook much faster. Um, if you like your hamburgers closer to the raw side, make it thicker. But it's meatloaf, so you just put junk in it. Try to cook it at least most of the way through. Um, so you can cook it in a frying pan. If you got a little hibachi grill, you can cook it on that. There's another way. And uh, you can cook it in the bird. Make one giant loaf, stick it in a tin foil pan. Um, after you mix everything all up, um, just put that in there. About two hours. I would let it go at least two hours. Uh, with a ketchup mixture right on top. Go down the road. It starts to smell good. It's probably getting close. Don't touch it. And... Uh, I'd go as long as three in the Burton. I wouldn't, don't think I'd go any longer than that. Somewhere between two and three, depending on. Burton's pretty, pretty forgiving. So if you're driving, you end up driving a little bit more. It's not a big deal. Um, all the cooking I've done in the Burton, I've never burnt anything. Um, I've had some stuff that was like brown, a little dark brown, but it was, it was never burnt. It was just dark brown instead of like golden brown. So. There's that. <clears throat> Alright, folks. One last look before I eat it. Meatloaf. Put it in the truck. Let me, uh, let me bust this bad boy open for you. So you can see what you're missing tonight. There you go. Let it focus. Boom. There's my meatloaf. And I'm eating. Still hot. You can probably see the steam. The steam keeps messing with the autofocus. Alright, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe right now. Don't delay. Hurry up. Click. Quick. Video's ending. Here you go. Click right now. Hey, folks. I just could not resist. It is so freaking good. Oh, the flavors. This is like, this is like being at Flavor Town Market. Oh, it's so delicious. It's cooked perfectly. Yeah, it's that good. Mm. It's really good. And the potatoes are cooked perfectly. Yeah, a little golden brown. Mm. I really wish you guys were here. This is the good dinner right here. In my truck. Not using anything but my little stove. Oh, it's delicious. You know, I'm kind of sad you're not here sharing it with me. I bet you'd like it. I bet you want some. I bet you would like to have this bite right here. All right. I'm done teasing you. I'll let you go now. Thanks for watching. All the way to the end. Mmm. That's so good. There you have it. Cooking in a truck. Or an RV. Or on a picnic table. Or in a boat. Or in a canoe. Out of a lake, tailgating. Oh, that would be an awesome thing to do. Tailgate. Make those up on a gas grill. A little ketchup mixture on top. Serve them to your friends. That would be good. Take some French fried onions, the Frenchest French fried onions, like you use in green bean casserole. Put some of them on top in a bun. Oh, off the hook. 
All right, I'm going finish. See you guys later.